Hi everybody, it's Jen. Welcome to Project Beauty where we talk about project panning and everything beauty related. Today we are going to be on the beauty side of the Project Beauty channel and we are going to be talking about hair. I am going to be doing this in a few different parts. It's going to be a bit of a series for me because I'm going through a little bit of a hair break right now. I've gone through one for quite a few months and I just want to talk to you guys about where I'm at, society's view of hair and beauty, a little bit on that like hair area of the beauty spectrum. And I also want to proceed with um, some information on what my thoughts are about what I might do with my hair in the future and where I'm at now. So there's a lot to cover. I just want to get right into it. Before I continue, I do want to mention what I'm wearing because by the time I get this edited and posted, I will probably forget um, and I don't leave myself notes. <laughs> I'm just that girl. So I am wearing the Morphe 39S palette. It's the such a gem palette on my eyes today for the most part. It looks like this. I'm basically wearing like this section mostly on my eyes. And I also, in the inner corner, um, the color that I used in the palette wasn't as oomphy as I wanted it to be. So I decided to throw the Stila, what is this called? Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Sunset Cove. And it's just an absolutely gorgeous, like you can see, like beautiful pink shimmer on the eye so it just brought out a little bit more of that like beautiful pink on the outside just it brought a little bit more of that sparkleness to the inside of the eye and I just wanted to bright myself up to there is going to be a bit of vulnerability in this the whole series and so I just want to make sure that I'm feeling what I'm wearing and all that kind of stuff just just to give myself that little bit of uh, comfort I guess <laughs> On my lips, I'm also wearing the Sephora lip, uh, cream lip stain, sorry, the Sephora cream lip stain in the shade number 38, and it looks like that. Um, it's really pretty, it's very mattifying, it's not sticky once it sets. Um, I don't have very full lips, and so, um, like, you probably can't really see it as bright as it could be on someone who maybe had lip fillers or naturally larger lips. But I do really enjoy the color, and I think it goes really nicely with the eye. So if you're looking for something similar, it's number 38. <sighs> okay, I'm already feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Um, I have a lot going on in my mind in the last couple couple days, honestly, even a little bit longer. Um, I'm going to start for where where this stemmed from, where this idea came from. And um, yeah, we're just going to proceed to like truck along here. So I was on YouTube um, just sifting through like videos and I came across a channel and it is called Bald Cafe. So like, like bald, B-A-L-D, cafe, all one word. So it is about, as far as I know, like I've only watched a couple of episodes, um, but or a couple of videos but it is basically about guys who are losing their hair and um, shaving their heads and if anyone in my life knows me that's like such a huge turn on to me is a shaved head I absolutely love shaved heads they're so fine I can sense a shaved head a mile away so when a guy starts balding I'm like that's so hot because shave that right off looks so good <laughs> that's just something that I love it's such a huge turn on for me like in fact when my husband and I first started dating um two weeks into our relationship he shaved his head completely bald for me um right down like the smallest um razor that you could go not not like the Bic but like the um clippers went right down to the shortest you could go and oh my god I was loving it so I just, I'm a huge fan of that. When I started watching that, I never realized that it was going to be about the vulnerability of guys losing their hair. And so I was relating that um, sort of to myself, not in the losing the hair factor, and I know that women do struggle with that. I don't have the losing the hair issue. Uh, I do a little bit because um, I have a hypothyroid. But uh, I have a lot of hair. I have a ton of hair. But my issue is the fact that I have a lot of gray hair. So I'm sure you guys can see. I'll zoom out a little bit. 
I'm sure you guys can see and I'll go over like everything with you guys I'll show you guys more of the hair after but I have not dyed my hair since July of 2020 because of course COVID and I didn't want to go buy box dye because I've had these um, streaks in my hair for so long so it, it's like the darkest brown you could get almost black and then blonde streaks sort of to like as the gray grows out it just blends in a little bit so it gets brassy and I don't have purple shampoo um, so you can obviously tell there's a difference, but it would be a huge difference if I were to say just have all dark brown hair or black hair and then there would be like a solid line and then my gray and my natural hair coming through. So I'm not um, up, like opposed to having it like this for right now and plus I'm just like staying home and not seeing anybody except for I'm doing YouTube. Thankfully you guys have all been incredible and no one has like post judgment or anything on me which I really appreciate but at the same time I love the way that my gray hair looks. I really like the fact that there's like a, a nice chunk of it kind of in the front uh, and then it's like thick throughout so I'll go ahead and show you guys in a second but back to the bald cafe. Um, go check them out. Um, I really I really enjoyed the episode. It like it tugged on my heartstrings the way these guys were feeling and I never I never in my heart thought guys cared so much or had not cared so much but had this the self-consciousness um, just the way that sometimes women have felt about having like the grays come in and like you know we all get insecure about these things so they had their insecurities about that and watching that it really opened my eyes of course I was watching it going yes yes it looks good but um, it started off with like sheer excitement for the fact that these guys were just shaving their heads. <laughs> That's like amazing for me. <laughs> but at the same time, um, at the same time when I watched it, it just struck a chord with me. Like I totally understand how these guys feel, but on a different like sort of area with the hair. So they're losing their hair, but my hair has been gray for so long. And I'm going to just let you guys know, I started going gray when I was 16 years old. Um, that's really early for someone to start getting gray hair. And I'm sure someone in the world has gotten gray hair much earlier, I have gone fully gray by the time they're like 20 something. I get it. Everyone's different and I'm not being like, poor me, whatever. But at the time I was dealing with a lot of issues with myself. I was heavier than most of my friends. Um, even though I was like very active, I walked everywhere, I bike rode everywhere. I was like um, just interested in like being active all the time. I still gained weight easily. I guess it was a thyroid, never knew, whatever. <laughs> um, also, I, I eat a lot. I, I have issues with that, but that's not that's not the point. Um, I just, I, I use food as a crutch when I'm feeling down or something. And so uh, whenever I have issues in my life or whatever, I, I go to food. So there was that growing up. There was, um, I just, I just had a lot of issues where I felt like I wanted to be me, but I got judged a lot. And I'm sure most people do, especially when you're growing up. Um, I wore a lot of like band t-shirts, like a lot of black, a lot of crazy makeup, still wear my crazy makeup. I have never changed. I feel like personally my style has like it's evolved and I, I am being able to wear things now that I wasn't able to wear before. But um, I, I there's a whole other topic that I could talk about and I feel like I'm <laughs> I feel like I'm leaving out so much, but it just doesn't all pertain to this. I guess I guess my issue was I was in high school. I was growing up feeling like I had all of these things that I had to try and handle that I couldn't just enjoy being me and I almost lost myself I guess throughout the years and I I sort of hid things or like um you know having the gray hair I started dyeing my hair right away if I started gaining weight I would wear baggier clothes thinking that helped um I never got close to people very much like I had boyfriends and stuff going growing up or whatever but I never really tried hard to have a lot of relationships because I wasn't comfortable really in myself even though now when I look back and I think everyone does is you look back at yourself and you're like oh my god I was so much smaller and now I have so much more confidence and 
whatever. I think a lot of people go through that, but I'm just talking about my own personal experience here. And I wanted to make a little series on it. And so this Bald Cafe, I just really enjoyed the video that I watched and I have um, put a bunch in my watch later so that I could just watch a few every now and then. Uh, because it really is like, it, it shows you that you're not the only one out there who's insecure. There's a lot of different people in the world that have things that you might find attractive that they're sitting there thinking, well, I'm insecure about this, you know, like, and it's not always about what other people like. It's how you see yourself and you're worried other people are seeing you like that too. That's my issue. So um, having my gray hair, it started right where this whole patch is. It actually started, um, I believe it was like right in this, in this area. So you can see I have, I'll pull it over to the side a little bit. <laughs> I have a lot, a lot of gray hair just tons I have a lot so if I were to like part my hair in the middle it would be like a lot of white and it's just like white um maybe if I grew it out that might be kind of cool but when you see it with the like the grown out area all the way to where it is now um and with the blonde and stuff I really liked my blonde I really liked the blonde with the black and the reason why I did that for so long was just because of my gray and I'm sort of getting tired of the look um people make comments to me a lot about things I wear and I wore certain things growing up for a reason so it wasn't to please people or to be looking like um people thought I was like a bad person growing up because I wore a lot of band shirts I wore a lot of black I wore a lot of baggy clothes but I did that because of other issues that I was trying to mask and so I you know you put on these fronts like you know um I I I'm confident in who I am and I'm wearing this because I love this but it's also even though I enjoyed how I looked and I really had fun wearing band shirts and I loved like a lot of like um heavy metal music and like uh I don't even know what you would call it all now, but I love like death metal and stuff like that. I love listening to that kind of stuff. Like I'm, I'm just all about all kinds, but I love like Patsy Cline, Johnny Cash. I like uh, um, Nicki Minaj. I like Metallica is my favorite band ever. Like it's all over the spectrum. So, you know, you're doing these things and wearing these things because um, of other un underlying issues, but you just don't want people to see that. And then they judge you for what you're doing to mask those other things. So you can't really... In my mind, I couldn't really change what I was doing because if I changed what I was doing, they would find out, you know, oh, you're you're heavier or you're this or you're that or whatever. I'm saying all of these things in my own context. I just want you to know that. <laughs> so uh, I, I was judged like growing up and um, you never you you never think like later on in life. <sighs> Like, you're going to look back and think, well, maybe I could have done something different or if I had, you know, whatever, try, uh, tried a different, like, option, maybe people wouldn't have bugged me about that. But the truth of the matter is people are going to bug you no matter what. People are going to come at you no matter what you look like, no matter what you say, no matter what you wear. Someone will always judge you. And I have just come to terms with that. And honestly, I don't like people like that. I don't need those toxic people in my life. I've got comments from every single aspect, friends, family, neighbors, like, people who are super close to me. And honestly, if you don't like it, you don't need to be in my life. If that's if if you're gonna come down on me for for me being me, then maybe you don't need me in your life, and I don't need you in mine. And I have cut out some people in my life. I've talked to people who are really close to me that have like basically I just let them say and say and say until one point it's like you know what if this is all you're gonna do when you see me, then I don't need to come here anymore. So either you need to like check that because it's not okay and it does hurt, or I just don't come around anymore. And unfortunately, I had to have that conversation with people that were incredibly close to me in my life. And they did change that way. They did, you know, they they cared about me enough to just not do it. And it meant the world to me. I'm going to get upset. <laughs> Hence why I'm not wearing eyeshadow underneath my eyes today. <laughs> Very vulnerable video. I'm sorry. I'm trying to hold it together here. So all that aside, like back to the hair, um, because that's the one... Thing that I'm gonna whoo it's coming out <laughs> that's the one thing I'm gonna talk about today is just the hair aspect I was really nervous about getting gray hair when I was younger I had very dark black hair 
Um, it was more like a dark brown auburn in the sun. My hair looked almost dark red. It was beautiful. I didn't want to dye on top of my natural hair, but I did because the gray started coming in. I thought that's, that's what I had to do. Um, if I didn't, it would have just been red with a white streak. And I think that might have been cool, but in my mind, gray is old. That's what you're told when you're younger. Like, people who don't dye their hair just have gray hair they're old you know cotton tops all that kind of stuff they're older um gray is so welcomed now gray is such a beautiful welcomed thing a lot of women are going natural a lot of women are growing out their hair they're not dyeing their hair and I absolutely love that I've actually enjoyed growing my hair out now that it's gotten to be um I guess I'll show you this side now that it's gotten to be quite long if I could grow it out longer and just like cut it, it might be okay. But I feel like uncomfortable still with the color. It's not so much that it's gray. It's that it's very, very cool toned. And I like a little bit more warmth to my hair. Even when I dye my hair, if I have purple in my hair or whatever, I like it to have a hint of a warm undertone to it. Not so gray lavender. Um, although I love that too, but just for my personal preference, I feel like it brings my eyes out to have a little bit of warmth. And if I start growing all of this white and gray out, I just feel like it's just going to be not me, just not what I want, you know? And then not that it's not me, obviously that's 100% me, <laughs> but it's just not what I'm going for. So um, I don't want to actually grow my hair out. That's not my goal. I am not going for growing my hair out naturally to have it natural. If I, anything, I'm growing it out natural to start fresh because I have had this hair um, for probably, I would say, almost 10 years. Probably 10 years I've had my hair like this with the, the dark and the blonde. And I said to myself when I was younger that I would never have blonde hair ever. Um, I never wanted to um, have any kind of blonde in my hair whatsoever. I always wanted to have just straight up beautiful black dark hair. And unfortunately, um, <laughs> I didn't foresee so much gray coming so fast. I'm actually looking down because I'm looking for a picture of my hair when I had it freshly dyed. I'm not going to be like adding pictures or anything in here, but I um, do want to just come across a picture and I have one here where my hair is freshly dyed from the salon. I don't know if you can see that, but that was a fresh dye job from the salon. And I absolutely loved the contrast of the blonde and the black. And I felt that that blonde was almost light enough when it was toned um, that it really matched the white part of my hair. And I love that. And I really, when I look at this picture, I feel like this is what I want to look like. This is what makes me feel good. Um, but also I want to change. I want to change it up a little bit. I want to do something different with myself. My hair is actually quite long right now. It's not as long as it was in that picture, that's for sure. I have chopped it off in the summer. My hair was probably um, just below my shoulders and it has grown out quite substantially in eight months. So my hair is quite long, um, probably halfway down my back. And I would like to do something like different with dyeing my hair, um, whether that means me dyeing my hair at home or whatever, I, I, I wanna change it. I just wanna change my hair up and I wanna have something fun and fresh and just, I feel like I've just let myself go with this pandemic. I'm so tired of, feeling frumpy and not feeling like I look presentable. I want to feel better about myself and for me I just want a fresh start. I need to reinvent myself and I foresee so many really fun things that I want to try or like hair colors that I'd like to try out and so I think I might start doing that especially while I'm working at home. So I contacted my hairdresser and she's booked an appointment for me. I have a week of holidays at the end of March so I'm going to be posting this hopefully early March. It's end of February, so I'll hopefully post this early March. Um, hopefully, maybe even the end of, I don't even know. I'll, I'll post it as soon as I can, somewhere by, by uh, end of February, early March, just to get this series started. But um, I just kind of wanted to touch base with you guys and talk to you about gray hair a little bit and insecurities and stuff. And so um, 
yeah, well, as growing up, I, like, it get, it, my hair got gray really, really fast and <laughs> I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all and that's when I had the blonde come in and I had the blonde for a long time and I really, I absolutely loved when I got my hair freshly dyed. I felt so amazing. I would walk out of the salon feeling like a million bucks. Just felt so good about myself. I got so many compliments. Actually, I had uh, quite a few people that I never met in my life ever, strangers just coming up to me and like, touching my hair and telling me how beautiful my hair was that was not at all comfortable I <laughs> one in fact um was one of the security guards at the airport where I live ew and it was it was just really creepy came over and was like oh I love your hair and started touching like who does that who does that <laughs> but I've, that's happened to me so much ever since I've had this this hair look and I don't know if it's just like the hair look or if people think that I look like it's okay that you can just come up and touch me because no don't do that I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and show you guys my hair and <laughs> I hope you're all like okay with this whole situation so let's just go ahead and sift through what I have for gray hair like I said the the front is the worst it's very very white but if I am too split it down the middle you can see I have a ton here it's not even it's more so like heavy on this side the white than it is on this side but it's very sifted through the dark so what I originally wanted to do before and you can see the difference with the warm blonde what I originally wanted to do was just grow my hair out and sift little streaks of black all the way through the hair just little just to keep it a little more uniform so that way when it grew out it was still my hair and still my gray it's just I would have little hints of black then when you go to the left side of my head um, I have a ton of gray here as well but you can see this big chunk of brown still in the front here so there's a huge chunk of brown and what I used to do is I used to part my hair like this on an angle where it was the least gray and like try to cover <laughs> like this and like tuck it behind my ear so you could like barely see that white <laughs> that's how I used to wear my hair because I was super self-conscious about any like growth um, and so most of it is just little bits of gray coming out and just so you guys um, are aware a little bit of a backstory on me is I am not even 40 yet so um, I've had gray hair lots <laughs> I'm not even 40 years old yet I'm in my late 30s and yeah I I have a ton of gray hair you can see it's pretty much the same all the way around just a lot of like it's sporadic everywhere but the front is that cluster so I really did think about just doing the little strips of black and I thought that might be actually pretty cool or like little strips of dark brown or something just to sort of make it a little more cohesive I just um I, I'm not ready to go full gray I'm not ready for my gray I know I have it and I know like I'm sure people who have like all brown hair or all like blonde hair or red hair or whatever if you want to do the silver platinum gray whatever color I, all the power to you I'm not ready for that yet <laughs> um, <laughs> so I think I have a couple of ideas that I want to do what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a couple of pictures uh, sometimes I cut my face and put it myself my face in the picture just so I can kind of see what it would look like especially so my skin tone is like next to the hair um, so, <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys a couple, feel free, please comment down below. Please don't be nasty. This is just for fun. I really, really honestly don't need anyone's opinion. It's just so like, it's for fun to see what you guys think. I think I'm pretty sure I know what I'm going to do with my hair when I go. Um, but I'm not going to tell you until I actually get to the salon and I am going to film it, but that will be a video down the road. I'm going to show you a couple of pictures of 
examples that I may want to use and then you guys can tell me what you think I also have a couple in here that are not ones that I'm gonna get at all um, but I just wanted to show you guys options there's different tones there's different lengths there's different shades um, and so I'm gonna show you guys a couple of options and you guys can comment down below if there's one that you really really like let me know so oh and don't forget to like the video please I would really appreciate that it really helps me out so this is the first one here um, I don't even remember who this person is I did I did uh, screenshot it because I thought that she was like super duper pretty and I really liked her hair for the fun color but I don't have her IG handle so if someone knows who this is please I follow her but I I have followed like 700 people so um comment down below if you guys know who this is but she's super pretty and i i love the color of this hair <laughs> so tell me what you think about that like isn't she so gorgeous <laughs> um but yeah like this this kind of color is what i'm talking about not the top I, I won't go black even though i would love to have black hair but there is one and i'm gonna throw in a whole bunch for you guys so you can see uh, the next one is this from Bodman's Aid. I think that's how you say it, but isn't she so stunning? I love this hair color on her. I will show you her picture. Her hair is so pretty. So there's that one. Um, also this one, I think her IG handle is Pipsqueak. She might be on YouTube too. I think she used to be, but I haven't seen her post anything in a while but I love that too and also um, this one here and this one's like the softer more pastel version I don't think that would suit me but you never know um, yeah this is uh, Let's see. Here's another one. I, I collaged her pictures together because I was actually going to get this cut because my hair is very similar. Like this blonde and dark was already very similar and I loved the cut on her. I follow her on Instagram and I loved the cut so much. But that would mean I would have to keep the same kind of hair color because I like the style. So I'm not sure I'm going to do that. Then there is this color which is again, I'm not sure I'm ready for this. So I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> I put my face on this one. <laughs> I love the hair color though. It's so pretty. And I have this one, which is a very dark auburn, but of course this is what my hair naturally was close to when my hair started going gray and this was my natural color in the sun but when it grows out like I have to think like you'll be able to see like this when it starts to grow out and you know I'd have to be dyeing it all the time so these are things that I have to think about if you're a hairdresser I really want to know your opinion they're all really cute and then the last one I have was actually from an app and it looks like this and this is the one that I was gonna do because that's my face but the app made me look younger <laughs> so and I was also thinner at that point I had lost some weight at that point as well so um, yeah and then this was the other one that's just more blonde but pretty similar to what I have already so these are just options let me know what you guys think down below even if you think I should go like green or whatever like you you put it down below what you think looking at me and just knowing my personality um, also I do have to like work in a rather professional company it's not like a law, a law office or anything like that but I definitely like to keep myself a little bit more professional but still a little bit fun because there's no guy like I could dye my hair bright red if I wanted fire engine red and just they don't care um it's just my own personal thing so I mean whatever maybe I do want to dye my hair like emerald green who knows so post it down below what you guys think I should do again it's a very personal thing it's a very personal choice and I did I did just I just want to change my hair I want to change my hair up I want to do something different with myself I've had purple hair uh, in the recent probably last two years I've had purple hair and raspberry hair 
um, and the blonde and the black hair. And I love the blonde and the black hair, but unfortunately, um, I just, I just need to change. It's been so long and if I don't like it, I can always go back to it. If I don't like whatever I change it to, there's, oh, I can always just change it. So I think I'm going to leave this here. Um, if you guys are interested and you kind of just want to check out the YouTube channel, I highly recommend Bald Cafe. I will link their channel below. I hope I remember to do that. I'm really bad at remembering to do that stuff. I'll try to remember to post what I'm wearing down below as well. Just so in case you guys need, you can check it out. I'm pretty sure these are still widely available at like Sephora and Morphe and like wherever you can get your local Stila stuff. Uh, so yeah, I will try and link everything like that down below. I would love to hear your thoughts on the topic. Again, please be kind and note that not everyone feels the exact same way and it's good to have opinion, but it's also good to be constructive and kind. It's also good to be like um, mindful of people's feelings and that we all just want to you know get our mention out there without being hurtful and harmful to other people so no trolls please <laughs> um really appreciate you guys watching the video I really would appreciate a thumbs up that would help me out so huge it's so free do not worry you are not going to get charged to put a like on my video so it's that easy all you have to do is click a button I would greatly appreciate it also, if you want to join me and watch what I will be doing with my hair down the road, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I also do project panning and of course more beauty related stuff, hence the channel name Project Beauty. <laughs> so I hope you stay with me. Thank you again so much for watching and I will talk to you guys again in the future.